everybody, Derek here, and in this video we're going to be going over how to set up a basic FTP server on Linux. So, most people know that FTP isn't exactly a new technology, but it doesn't really matter because there are still some things that FTP can do that a lot of other things can't, and that is hosting files and getting them from place to place across the internet relatively fast, I guess? I mean, it's not... It's not something like BitTorrent where it's super fast, but there are still some uses. So in this tutorial, we're going to be using VSFTPD. Now this is a very simple FTP daemon. And uh, if you check the description below, we have installation instructions for all of the main Linux distributions. Please check the article. And uh, all the instructions are pretty similar. So to start off on Ubuntu, do sudo. apt install vsftpd and uh, as you install it the packages will be put through and set up on your system and in some cases this isn't accurate for every single Linux distribution but on Ubuntu it will process your stuff for systemd I still like to do it manually just in case so the next step is to like I said do it manually uh, enable Up TBD, and uh, then of course start it up. Now from here you'll need to open up the text editor to edit the configuration file. So this would be sudo nano at vsftpd.com. So let me make this bigger. So there are a lot of different configuration files in here and uh, the one that I would say to allow is anonymous enable. And now this is because though it might sound like a security breach to enable anonymous login, all it does is means that anybody can access the FTP server so you don't have to give out usernames. If you want security, all you would need to do is go sudo system ctl disable vsftpd and or you could do stop, and this will instantly stop the, the server daemon from running, so you don't need to worry about it always being running so people can always access it. And you can just go back here and start it up with systemd whenever you need it. So in my opinion, you should enable this. If you're seriously worried about security, don't, don't uh, worry about that one. You also need to look for write enable. Delete this here, and this will make it so that any form of FTP write can be used. So you can put files and folders and everything there. Now there's also an ability to disable it from running as root. And uh, to do that, you need to look for non-priv. And uh, you can do control W and search for non-priv. So the next feature you should enable is anonymous upload. And now this one, as I missed it going through uh, for some reason, because uh, it's I didn't read that part, but this to enable this, I missed this part, but I'm going to go back to it. You should enable anonymous upload, and this just makes it so that anonymous users can log in uh, and upload their own files, and there's no permission issues. And uh, there, are also some, there are also some security settings that you'll need to, uh, to use. And uh, the main security setting is non-priv user. What this will do is, like it says in the configuration file, it will make it so that it does not run as a root user. Once all of these are done, press Control o on your PC keyboard. So you may notice that I'm running 
on my regular Arch desktop. Now I'm no longer in the virtual machine. And this is because I set up the server on this virtual machine here so that I can access it over here. So let's do that. So pretty much every file manager is about the same. You can just go up to the start bar here or the location bar, whatever you want to call it, and just type in FTP and then the uh, you just go up here, type in FTP, followed by the host name. So in this case, it's test virtual box. And now we set up anonymous in the configuration file so I can connect like this. And I am now on the partition in the area with my FTP and I can add new folders. So there's nothing in this FTP server because I haven't really configured it, but the concept is the same. Like you can also connect over command line and uh, you know, FTP works, FileZilla works, uh, and uh, it allows us to share files with the network. And this can also work And uh, I've got this running in a virtual machine, but you don't have to have it in a VM to host your server. You can run it on your desktop. The server software supports pretty much everything. And uh, you may want to go through the configuration file and see if there's anything that you'd want to change. I went through the basics and I would go over it in more detail in the article below in the description. So please check that out. See you guys in the next one.